Hi, I'm Sue, and I want to talk with you today about something we do in Ayurveda called an evening routine. In one of my other videos, I spoke about a morning routine and how important it was and some simple strategies that can help set your day. This is when right before you go to bed and getting yourself set up for evening. And we know with the Ayurvedic teachings that what you do consistently and routinely in the morning and what you do consistently and routinely in the evening can anchor your day in a way that helps your day feel more um, solid, more productive, um, more focused. And the same thing can happen with your sleep. So if you have trouble sleeping, this is a nice little tip that you might want to um, try and see how it works. The first thing I want to talk about is when you're getting ready to go to bed, let's say your evening bedtime is 11. By about 9.30, I want you to start thinking about a routine to set yourself up for 11 o'clock. Not do everything at 11 o'clock. By 11 o'clock, your lights are out, you're in the bed, and everything should be done, and you should be ready to sleep. And one of the very first things I want you to do is close down all your screens. And you can see I have my computer screen here. I'm going to actually close it and put it away, excuse me. I don't want it anywhere near me because we know that the uh, energy off of the screens of any kind disrupts our thinking cycle, disrupts our sleep cycles, and so put it away. The second thing I want you to think about is maybe taking a shower or preferably a bath. And you can do many things with baths. A lot of people love Epsom salt baths because it's help, it helps to detoxify the body. If you do that and you want to take a bath, what I would highly recommend is that you use Epsom salt and or essential oils. I would recommend something from doTERRA. This one is Serenity. And it is designed and blended for calming the body, mind, and helping us sleep. So... But lavender works, vetiver works, chamomile works, all of them work together. So a bath or a shower, something that can soothe you. The next thing I might suggest is a cup of tea. Not caffeinated tea, please. This one, I love this company, Puka, and it is called Love, this tea, and it is a blend of chamomile and lavender. And it's lovely to drink throughout the day, but it's especially nice at night because we know lavender is a calming um, herb, flower, oil, and so is chamomile. So you get it internally that way. It's just a nice, lovely thing to do. So, so far, what do we have? We have getting away from screens. We have taking a bath. We have drinking a cup of tea. The next thing I might suggest you do is to set up a diffuser right by your bed. This one runs for four hours. You can get them that run all night. And if you put something in them like Serenity that is blended specifically to help you sleep and, and feel calm, it will help you all night long. I just, I find that the essential oils are a key piece in routines, especially in the evening. The other thing that I like to do, um, and this is for people that have a little bit of stubbornness about falling to sleep, is I use three different oils. I carry them in this little pack when I'm traveling, but most of the time they're by my bed. These three oils are lavender. And that kind of stuff. This one's lavender. This is vetiver. And this one is clary sage. Why did I choose those three? Can't get it out. Well, I, I've already told you lavender is really, really good for calming everything. Mind, body, everything. Vetiver is really good for the central nervous system. So if you're one of those people that have what they call ruminating thoughts and you can't stop thinking at night, this one's really good. And then clary sage is good for all things hormones, and we know if we balance our hormones, we will sleep better. I put all three of these together with some fractionated coconut oil on the bottoms of my feet before I go to sleep. And it has helped me in those times when sleep is difficult. So all of this, the screens, the tea, the bath, the diffuser, the extra help on the bottoms of the feet. My last suggestion is to journal. 
And I don't know if you guys know this, but when you do journaling at night, especially if it's a gratitude journal, not a mind dump, but a gratitude journal about your day, what were you grateful for throughout the day? It helps to reset your, your thinking cycles. It helps to set your brain up for sleep and rest rather than fight or flight. I'm going to give a little shout out to a woman named uh, Elena Brower. She created this beautiful journal called Practice You. And I just got it and I'm super excited to use her journal. Uh, she created this because she herself practices and it's just absolutely gorgeous. She did all the painting and all the writings and things. Um, she's well known in the yoga world. She's well known in the doTERRA world and she's an absolutely amazing woman. And I'm going to start using this tonight. So there you have it. Tips for the evening routine. Please give it a try. Let me know how you um, feel about it. Let me know what you try, what you like, what you don't like. Please subscribe to the channel below and let me know how the evening routine helps you sleep. Have a great day.